Diabetic meal planning for disabled individuals is a comprehensive process that requires collaboration and expertise from various professionals and caregivers. The aim is to create customized, effective meal plans that cater to the specific needs and challenges of disabled individuals managing diabetes. In this explanation, we will discuss who should be involved in diabetic meal planning for the disabled and the important roles they play in ensuring successful diabetes management. Primary care physician or endocrinologist. The primary care physician or endocrinologist is often the starting point for diabetic meal planning. They diagnose diabetes, prescribe medications if necessary, and set blood sugar targets. Their role includes monitoring the patient's health, adjusting medication as needed, and providing guidelines for nutritional goals and blood sugar control. Registered Dietitian or Nutritionist A registered dietitian or nutritionist is a crucial member of the diabetic meal planning team. They possess expertise in nutrition and can tailor meal plans to meet the individual's specific dietary needs, taking into account diabetes management and any associated disabilities. They provide guidance on portion control, carbohydrate counting, and food choices to stabilize blood sugar levels. Occupational Therapist Disabled individuals may have physical limitations that affect their ability to prepare meals. Occupational therapists assess the patient's functional abilities and recommend adaptive equipment or strategies to make meal preparation more manageable. They can help individuals with disabilities maintain their independence and safety in the kitchen. Speech therapists or communication specialists. For individuals with cognitive impairments or communication difficulties, a speech therapist or communication specialist may be involved in the meal planning process. They can recommend communication strategies to ensure the individual understands dietary recommendations and can express their food preferences. Caregivers and family members. Caregivers and family members play a vital role in diabetic meal planning for disabled individuals, especially for those who require assistance with daily tasks. They should be educated about the dietary requirements, meal preparation techniques, and blood sugar monitoring to provide support and ensure compliance with the meal plan. Specialized meal services and delivery providers. In some cases, disabled individuals may benefit from specialized meal services or meal delivery providers that offer diabetic-friendly meal options. These services can ensure that individuals receive properly balanced, nutritious meals without the need for extensive preparation. Speech and occupational therapists. Individuals with sensory impairments such as visual or auditory impairments may require the expertise of speech and occupational therapists. These professionals can help adapt meal planning and preparation methods to accommodate sensory deficits. Psychologist or counselor. Living with a disability and managing diabetes can be emotionally challenging. A psychologist or counselor can offer support for coping with stress, anxiety, or depression related to these challenges. Emotional well being is a crucial aspect of effective diabetic meal planning. Social worker. A social worker can help disabled individuals and their families access necessary resources, such as financial assistance for specialized diets, home modifications, or transportation to medical appointments. They can also provide guidance on community support services. Physical therapist. For individuals with physical disabilities, a physical therapist may help design an exercise program that complements the meal plan, considering the individual's mobility and physical limitations. Diabetic meal planning for disabled individuals is a collaborative effort that involves various healthcare professionals, caregivers, and support services. Each member of the team plays a vital role in ensuring that the meal plan is personalized, effective, and tailored to the unique needs and challenges of the individual. By working together, they can help disabled individuals with diabetes achieve better blood sugar control, improve overall health, and a higher quality of life.